Hey guys, good morning. It's about my, I don't know, third, maybe fourth trip out down here uh, since I have moved to Richmond Hill. It is near Savannah for those of you that don't uh, know the geography of the Georgia coast. Uh, I have, I'm gonna be fishing an incoming tide, looks like all morning, and uh, cause it's low right now. <laughs> I'm not smart, but I'll figure that out. But anyway, uh, it's pretty low. I'm at, I'm at uh, Demery's uh, Creek put in here. And uh, out of my three trips, I caught fish one time, you know, halfway decent. And uh, the other two uh, didn't do all that good. Part of it was the, the water was all really nasty and the weather wasn't cooperating good with me. But today I think I got a little bit of a shot here, even though it's incoming. Um, I've figured out a couple of spots I think I might be able to catch fish at. Of course, y'all know you're in a new place. It's good to go out at dead low tide like this. So you can kind of see things that you can't normally see uh, because that's the biggest thing is finding, you know, where there's oyster beds and where there's, you know, whatever, any kind of anything with the bottom that I need to know that I can't see. I'm gonna be able to see a lot of it today. So hopefully this will be a really productive trip. I'd like to catch a few fish. Um, that really make things better. I fished down at St. Mary's yesterday with Paul. We caught some big trout yesterday. We didn't catch a lot of trout, but the ones we caught were nice. So maybe that'll happen again here. that was a trout I just lost but at the start see if we can get another one okay Let's see what we're working with here <laughs> little guys but it's okay because they're here now let's see if I can turn this into something profitable this water is actually um, still going out a little bit, believe it or not, as low as it is. We'll put a big shrimp on here, see if they'll get a bigger trout. Got right in there. There's a bunch of bait in here I've already seen. Big school of bait right there. Oh man. Now talk about a slow takedown. That was a slow takedown. Maybe it's a flounder or something. That's about the way they do. But that's the way the trout did yesterday when we were up at St. Mary's. It'd be a real slow uh, takedown. messing with me. I don't think that's a trout. I think that's a shark. Yep, that's a shark. Run around and go crazy and then run straight at you. Oh, there he went. He probably broke my line. Yeah. Okay, let's retie. Well, boys and girls it's a little while later and uh let me use this as a time to teach a lesson i uh last time you saw me i was gonna retie and so when i started to retie i noticed why is all this water in the bottom of my boat and it turns out i had not put my plug in my boat and it, you can ask anybody that fishes with me what i always say every time is is your plug in and they'll say yeah and then 90 percent of the time i go and check it anyway and it drives people crazy so 99.9 percent .9 of the time 
I make sure there's a plug in the boat that I get in. So today was that point one, <laughs> and I didn't have the plug in. Normally I have the plug in anyway. So anyway, I've been bailing out the boat, and uh, you know, finally got it where I got enough water out where I can run around without worrying today. But my lord, you know, and I could put it on plane and you know run the water out, stuff like that. That's a trick you can do. But I didn't feel like sticking my head down in that water again to put the plug back in, so I just bailed it. Um, so now I need to make sure my bilge pump gets repaired because it is not working. Bilge pump, no. Make sure your bilge pump works and it wouldn't hurt to have one of those manual bilge pump things in your boat, which I don't have. So I've learned things. You learn things even if you're 50, 60 years old. So anyway, let's continue fishing. Maybe some mangroves or something. be the wildest craziest trout I've ever caught man he just, <laughs> he hit it like a freight train and then ran all over the place jumped out of the water like a ladyfish I didn't think it was a trout lively little fella took his vitamins this morning or something about that that was exciting Smaller guy. You know, if I hadn't had all the technical issues I have had today, I really feel like I would have caught a whole lot of fish by now. I mean, a whole lot. It's been, ah, anything that can go wrong. Like, you know, pick yourself in the armpit. That's kind of the day I've had. Let's see. Not the armpit. The back. The back of the armpit. This is this the way the days go. It's just been literally one thing after the other. That I did not show on camera because I didn't. You don't want to see all that junk. I got my croaker line snatched up while I was messing with something else, and I think it might have got in my trolling motor, but I'm not sure. I missed a bunch of fish. And I've still caught fish. I mean, this must be an awesome day because it's been a horrible day. <laughs> it's a horrible, awesome day. This is a nice big trout. Nice big trout. 
unbelievable awesome day. And I should have caught 50 fish by now. Look at that guy. That's a beautiful trout. Beautiful. See, if I'd have got mad and quit when my boat was sinking, <laughs> I wouldn't have caught that fish. Oh, Lord, guys. This is some kind of craziness today. It really is. And I feel like I'm not sitting in exactly the right spot. I mean, I'm just all over the place. Just all over the place today. But I'm not going to fuss because I've caught fish. Well, I am fussing, but you know what I mean. I'm not going to cry like a baby. There you go. It's like another pretty decent fish. It's a lady fish. Good. Glad she's gone. I didn't like her at all. Didn't like her at all. I didn't like her looks. Didn't like her attitude. Just didn't care for her. move around a little bit. This guy hit it while I was moving. Could have been a disaster, but it worked out. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to cut it short today. It's supposed to be a chance of thunderstorms and stuff like at 12 o'clock. It's 11, and the way my luck has been going today with things happening, I don't want to chance it, I don't think. Um, so i really missed a big window of opportunity there catching those fish i mean i spent probably 45 minutes or 30 something minutes not fishing because i was messing with that because i forgot the plug and then a couple other things that happened so i really feel like i could have caught a whole bunch of fish there today i'm pretty happy really with the result i got three nice fish to eat so uh, i'm gonna take those home water starting to get muddy anyway because this tide's coming in so but i just missed my shot there i really feel like i could have caught a lot of fish so uh anyway i found a nice spot uh, another place where i kind of know what it looks like and that's just the way it is you got to find places when you're in a new area of fishing and this is a new area to me so you guys have a good day thanks for watching and uh we'll talk to you later